31 diesel truck giveaways later, and this one just might be my favorite yet. One very lucky person is gonna take home this 2017 6.7 Power Stroke, plus this exact $5,000 in cash. So click that link below just like they did and secure those entries because it only takes one entry to win it all. Good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. It is officially launch day for the giveaway. So all the people who pre-entered into this giveaway and Mystery Box subscribers, congratulations. You are now entered in to win the truck officially for the drawing which will take place after September 6th once the giveaway is officially over. For everybody else that has not yet entered, every $1 is 30 entries to win from now until August 1st and then 30X entries will be going away. So if you wanna grab those, head on over to lmpgear.com right now, buy literally anything on the website, and check out your automatically to win or if you just simply haven't been on our website in a long time you should definitely go check it out because I put an absolutely crazy amount of work into that website to try to change it for the better to try to make it more appealing easier to use function better the tabs are more organized everything is just cleaner and better put together so that you guys have a better experience over on the store because it was neglected for so long I'm at fault for that because I'm supposed to be managing updating the website and stuff and um, I just haven't gotten around to it in a long time and my apologies for anybody that has had issues with the website I'm now trying to pay much closer attention to it to make it a much better experience for you guys. But today we're going to be going over a full review and overview of this truck. It's a 2017 Ford F250 XL with a bunch of premium options. We're going to go over those options real quick here and I'm going to try to break it down for you guys the best that I can. I'm filming solo right now so just bear with me. Hopefully I don't bounce you guys around too much but if I do it's just well it's just the way that it goes sometimes. Long bed, all that stuff. We're going to start kind of and go front to back we're going to kind of work through the front end we're going to start with like cosmetic stuff so like body paint lighting stuff like that so coming on up to the front end truck's got a fully paint matched front bumper led fog lights fully paint matched grill white to the coat of the truck coming up at the front here you've got the spider led projector headlights with the led surrounds it gives it a really nice look honestly it kind of gives you it, it's it's aftermarket of course it looks aftermarket but it kind of gives you that like aesthetic of like the newer like the 2020 2021 style a little bit um again not the same but it's it gives it like more of that concept and it looks really really good super happy with how that looks going on over the side you You've got fully paint matched mirrors. Gotta get some bugs off there from the drive up here. This thing's so clean when I picked it up and I hit so many bugs. It's a shame, but you know, it is what it is. Door handles are also completely paint matched and uh, they did a really, really good job on that. It looks really, really good. The truck does have a tri-fold bed cover and we'll get to some other stuff here in a minute. It is a four wheel drive, of course. So you got the decals on it and whatnot. OEM tail lights and tailgate badging, all that stuff. Um, nothing in the bed is aftermarket other than the B&W gooseneck hitch. That is aftermarket, that is not from Ford. But it's a nice option to have. The truck does have 360 cameras. So it's got the camera there, it's got the camera up on the back of the cab, and it does have cameras down in all of the, uh, on the mirrors on both sides, as well as a camera on the front with a little pop-out sprayer to clean that. Sorry, my finger looks bad. I smashed it with a sledgehammer about two weeks ago and it, it's still looking a little rough. Anyways, um, so all that's, all that's really cool. Um, that's most of the exterior, aside from like, the tint is technically on the inside, but you see it from the outside the most. It is a 5% on the sides, 5% on the back with a 5% brow on like the top 30% or the top 25% of the windshield. I think it's I think it's about 30% of the windshield has a 5% brow on the top, which is really, really awesome. So now we're going to get into wheels, tires, and suspension. Starting with the wheels. So they are actually 22 by 14 Hostiles. I want to say they're the Hostile Rage 6L models. I could be, I could be wrong. I thought that's what they were. I remember seeing these before looking at them for a different truck and and he didn't have it in the description what model they were, but I wanna say I think they're a hostile Rage 6L model. And I think the 6L just kind of distinguishes it between like the spokes and maybe it being 
a chrome model. I'm not, I'm not positive on that, um, but I think that's what it is. And then you're looking at a Venom Power Terra Hunter RT Plus, and that is actually a 35 by 1450 R22. And those are at like 90% tread. They're almost brand new. Um, they're actually in, actually in really, really good shape. And so that's the wheel and tire setup on this thing. Coming on down to the underside, you're looking at a two and a half inch leveling kit up front with some Rancho shocks on it. And so that is going to be your wheel, tire, and suspension setup. That's what the truck's rocking. Yes, the truck will rub on a sharp turn. It's gonna do a little bit of rub and there's no cutting on the bumpers or anything like that. That was not done or the fender. I mean, if you drive it and just fully understand that you've only got about one rotation and no more, you're totally good. But uh, if you do much more than that, you are going to start rubbing a little bit. So just keep that in mind when you win, you know, if you ain't rubbing, you ain't thugging. But I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you got, you got to pay to play. But looks really good. Rides really good. Going down the road, it's great. I had it going 70 with the crew set today. The ride's awesome. And so that's for the most part. That's it with the wheels, tires, and suspension and a little bit of info on those. Now we're going to be going into the interior of the truck and tint I guess would kind of be like counted as interior because the tints on the inside but for the interior you got the XL interior with the leather so it's really nice it's comfortable it's quiet um, the interior, this is just all like factory stuff. It's got the power windows, power locks, mirror, power mirrors and stuff. It's got the Edge Insight CTS3 monitor in it. Truck's got the nicer interior for the XL that you could have gotten. It's got like the nice display. It's got the Ford bigger um, entertainment screen there with like Apple CarPlay and all that stuff, which is really nice. Bluetooth, radio, Bluetooth calling, Bluetooth for your phones and all that stuff. You got a 12 volt outlet and a 110 right there, which is sick. And then you do have all of that stuff there, engine braking, which is cool. And I'm not sure what the video camera mode right there is for, but there is a video icon right there. I don't know what that's for, but maybe, I don't know. I, I really don't have any words for that. I'm not gonna pretend I know what that's for. I have no idea what that's for. Truck does have the front fold up center seat. Interior is very clean, it's very nice. It does have the rubber floor inside the truck because it is considered a work truck model. Um, but it's actually really nice. It says Super Duty all across the back. It makes it really easy to clean and wipe down. It's actually a very usable interior. So for those of you that like the pretty boy interiors with all the carpet and all the craziness and like you're scared to get in it with your boots, you know, this is not that interior. This is not, this is not that interior. This is an interior that, you know, it's nice. It's got all the nice features of a more comfortable creature comfort oriented truck, but it does have work truck features as well. So I know a lot of you guys are like working on farms. You're working, you know, the blue collar jobs and you're gonna get dirty. I mean, this is so easy to keep clean and that's so nice about it. That's that's why they make this an option in one of these trucks from the factory to have this kind of stuff because there are guys that just get more use out of something like this than they do all the fanciness. And now that is exterior wheels and tire suspension and interior on the truck. Like I said, the tent's kind of interior exterior thing, but it's technically on the inside, but that's pretty much all of that. Now, there are some other things done to this truck. I will let you take a glance. So yes, this one has some good goods underneath and it sounds really good, drives really good. It is beautiful. And it is tuned with a five position switch on the fly with easy link tuning. And I'll actually show you that dial right now. Right there, easy to get to, right there. And like I said, it's running the CTS3 Insight monitor up there so you can see everything. Some of the features on the monitor are not currently hooked up, but for the most part, your essential stuff is on there. It's just another look at the front end of this thing. Like I said, this thing looks so freaking mean going down the road. It is like, it, it is so nasty, it looks awesome. And as a little update, look how much room this thing has in this shop. So this is, like I said, it's a four-door long bed truck. It is a long pickup. And it's not all the way up against the back. It's about 
as far back as we would probably go though if we wanted to be able to work around it and make sure that it doesn't bump the wall. But we've got rosine, we got this thing just parked right in the middle. It's not really like offset so we can fit another truck, but we could easily park rosine where she's at, move this thing over five feet almost, and then uh, put another truck right there and you could fit three in here. Couldn't fit any more than that though. Um, you might be able to put one in here at an angle once you get this one moved over and back as far as you could. But realistically, we probably won't be doing that. So guys, I hope you like the truck and I hope you guys are excited about this one because I know I am. And I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting us all the way from the beginning. We've been on the YouTube platform itself since like 2014. We've been on the truck side of things since 2017. And we've been doing giveaways since before it was like a big trend. You know what I mean? Like before everybody jumped on the van wagon. And I really want to thank you guys for supporting us through all of that. I know there's some people that they come and go like depending on what the truck is, but there's a lot of you guys that you've been supporting what we do pretty much no matter what we've given away since the beginning. And that is like a really, really hard customer and supporter to come by. And I just want to thank you guys so freaking much for all that support because that has been like a long time of support. And for some of you, it might not even seem like it's been that long, but it has been four full years now since we started doing these giveaways. This is gonna be our 32nd diesel truck, 33rd truck altogether. We did give away a gas Chevy one time way back and we've given away a Hellcat, we've given away a bunch of cash and stuff like that. But 32nd diesel pickup, since that's what our channel's themed around in our business. Just mind blowing, that's a lot of pickup trucks. Hopefully this is something that we continue to do for a while and we can keep the ball rolling. You guys are awesome. And again, just a huge, 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 huge thank you because it really is hard to come by a customer base and a supporter base that like truly does stick with it for the long haul and you guys are those people and I am so grateful for you guys and I literally could not give somebody a truck like this without people like you supporting what we do.